I studied Notion for productivity, to keep my ideas in one place. But as I spent a lot of time structuring my thoughts, recording them in Notion and staring at various dashboards, it also became important to me to have a nice aesthetic working place so that I could enjoy the view of that as well. I noticed that some of the Notion widgets helped me to accomplish both being productive and also have a nice area to work in. So in today's video, I will share the widgets that I use in Notion myself and give you some ideas what could you use for your productivity when you're working in Notion. This video is part of the series where I show how I built my Notion productivity system. And if you would like to see more videos like that, please subscribe to my channel and let's get into that video. Widgets are visual helpers that you can embed in your Notion page and they can either make it look nicer or they can help you to access information that you need much faster or they can actually be just for fun. And usually they look like a piece of code and it's better that I show you how I embed them than explain you. So let's get into the Notion page. I will show you the principle with the live progress bar. And for this, we will go to Indify Notion widgets. I choose the live progress bar and I will title it as um, Early Progress. And let's see, it's generating a widget. And here I can see the progress of various periods. And for example, the it's 66% of the year has passed and uh, nearly the end of the month and uh, beginning of the week. So for the first one, I will select my date of birth. So I know that a lot of people find it motivating to see how far are you in your life. But for me, it's more disturbing. So I don't really want to see that um, progress. And hence, I will switch it off. I can see the progress in the percentage, in the fraction, which I do prefer. And actually for the live progress bar, I usually like to see the progress of the year in general, just to be aware. And I don't really need the monthly or weekly or daily or quarterly progress. Maybe at some point I will use them in my monthly review or mid-year review, but for now I just want to see the year progress. And we are in end of August now, so I will see the year. Next, we can find the first day of the week. Well, I think this is important for those who are looking at the week progress. We can set the background color as well, and we can choose any color that we want. So for me, um, those colors are good. We can check how it will look in the dark mode. So I'm using the light mode, so that's fine. And yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I would love to see on my page. So I just copy a link. And then I go to my Notion widgets. And now I have to paste it into my Notion page. And I can do it in two ways. So first of all, I can do embed command and paste the link. Okay, I can expand it as I need or as I see will be useful for me. So usually I pick the small one and I can position it as I want. So it can be positioned in the center, the left side. Well, positioning is a bit strange, but that's okay. And uh, I think, yeah, that's it. So. Another way that I could embed uh, this thing is I could just paste the link. So control V and uh, create embedded. Yeah, so the same thing. So I don't need two of them, so I will delete them. And from here, we can also check uh, the dark mode and we can customize and it will bring us back to Indify where we actually created the widget. And yeah, that's it. This is how we embed widgets and how we see them on our page. Next, I have a digital clock and I like it to be the flip clock. So I chose the colors of my whole Notion setup and I used the widget box to source this uh, widget. So let's see, we can create it. And here you can choose the background. So any colors really, the text colors, you can create different uh, radius of the corners and you can choose 12 or 24 hour clock. And yeah, that's the same thing. So you copy the code and you embed. 
Next, I have a calendar. So with this one, I find it really useful when I have a calendar because I often either Google a calendar or I have to go to Google Calendar to check the dates, to check the week. And so for this calendar, I selected the colors that I want and I like it to be disconnected from my Google Calendar. It's possible to link the Google Calendar either through embed or through a widget, but I found that you have to share all your calendar details and it can be found online. So I prefer not to share my Google Calendar. So whenever I need it, I can just go to my app or to check it myself. So that's in terms of the calendar blocking, but for general you should know oh, when does the week start, what is the date for a particular day. I can use this calendar and I like that I can select the colors that aligned with the overall color scheme of my Notion. So I can also alter the border width and the border color uh, and again do some modifications to the calendar. So that's the calendar. The next one is a motivational quote and I really like this widget and it's available from multiple developers. I'm using this one from Indify and here I can first of all select where my quote will come from. So there are multiple Instagram accounts and I can set the menu, the background color if I need to and um, yeah, enable the dark mode and the same thing. So it's also possible to refresh the quote so whenever you would like to see a new one you can just press refresh and it will show you a new quote. By the way guys, do you use Notion for your personal needs or for your team collaboration and organization? Let me know down in the comments below. And now let's get to the next widget which is button and let's see what are the parameters that we can change here. So first of all it can be text or icon or both and you can assign of course the web page that you would like to follow when the button is pressed and select the color and um, choose all the formatting things. And I thought it would be a nice moment to say that if you guys enjoyed this video or finding it useful, please support this video with like. The next widget is a Pomodoro widget, which helps you to concentrate for a period of time and then have a little break and concentrate again. So you can have it straight away on your Notion page and don't go anywhere else while you're working on some project. So you can either select all the settings here or you can go directly to your studywithme.io page and choose all the settings that you need. So what is the duration of your Pomodoro? What are your breaks? You can also select the different uh, backgrounds like this, or I actually probably like this one more. And yeah, you can embed this particular link into your Notion page. And the next one is a mind map, which I really like. Well, I actually prefer to think in a way of a mind map and to record my ideas as a mind map because this is how I can connect different ideas to different other ideas. And I do prefer to do it with hand and paper, but I recently started exploring the digital versions. So I found a way to embed this mind map into my notion. And the good thing here is that I can actually use my mind map within notion. So I can either zoom out or I can move, move it and I can actually add things to the mind map as well. So for example, I can add another um, type of content. So this is a Miro map, hope I pronounce it correctly, or Myra. And this is actually a widget that is already embedded in Notion. If we go embed, and here we can find the mind maps. I think this one is also a mind map, but I prefer to use uh, Myro or Miro. And this is how you do it. So I'm quite a minimalist, so I use just a handful of widgets, but they really make a difference on my Notion pages. And we can have a look at what are other ideas that maybe will be helpful for you. So uh, let's look at indify.co and here you can see that, um, okay, you can use a weather widget, which is very nice. Google Calendar, we briefly discussed it. You can use some counters or countdowns. For example, if you want to count your um, glasses of water per day or maybe you would like to count I don't know how many push-ups did you do today or maybe how many uh, pomodoros have you done today so this is for the counter the countdown of course to uh, some 
noticeable day or maybe for the deadline or a clock or actually what you can do about the clock is that if you are working with someone in a different time zone you can choose to show their time as well so you just select the clock and um, let's say I'm about to work with someone from Riga what time and I can choose not my local time zone but I can choose Europe Riga and this clock will show time in Riga and I think this is a very useful when you are working with someone overseas or with a very different time zone just to be on the same page about what is happening when and um, of course here you can check uh, what are the types of the clock that you are selecting so for example you can have dots or you can have the digital roulette so you can select the view that suits your notion page and your aesthetics then you can also use an image gallery which is a nice way to present your images instead of embedding your images then let's go to widget box they also offer different widgets different views of the weather which are really really very nice the number of times someone viewed your page or the number of likes different type of life progress bar and so on and for example in option again a similar widgets like weather widgets or actually choose some music with spotify you can uh, choose different pomodoro uh, interesting ones are the moon phases uh Ostra charts and other different things like statistics you can find the twitter the brainy quote that i see there is another mind map so widgets are definitely a way to enhance your notion page and tailor to your needs and to your aesthetic taste and I have a separate video on different tips and tricks of Notion, which I use on my nearly daily basis. And I hope they will be useful for you to check out this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.